Peter, a man living the ever-ordinary life of a stockbroker. For the past 20 years or so, Peter had always maintained a narrow sense of purpose, with his amounting aspirations seemingly always around the next corner. The days used to pass by with prosperity overcoming any trivial hurdles in his way. Life was truly good. That is, until he packed up his family and moved 600 miles away from Wall Street, where all of his professional success had transpired. Things began to weigh down on his shoulders as he became desperate to encounter even a single client. He tried everything, anything, to build his reputation back up and make his way back to the top. But the burdens became too heavy, setbacks too difficult. Peter had dug himself into a bottomless pit of financial catastrophe. Cameron, your typical hardcore gamer, lives and breathes through his video games. Graduated high school, got his associate's degree in digital design, then decided to drop out. His principal source of income is revenue collected from the massive amounts of YouTube watchers he gets on his live streaming videos. He has over 500,000 subscribers and is now viral. Although many think video games are a waste of time and harm people's brains, Cameron feels his daily cognitive functions are improved as a result of him playing video games. He spends his days and nights in his parents' basement, living in his own virtual world. He really was getting the most out of the life that he wanted. Everett, a cunning young man with a passion for his guitar, grew up with musically inclined parents and has been surrounded by a love for music ever since he can remember. For the past few years or so, he has been sharing his passion by street performing, where he makes a decent amount of money to support his lifestyle. He travels around to different cities, sets up his gear, and can play a whole day soothing the people of various places with both his eloquent voice and his pure guitar. Everett understands that eventually he will have to get a real job with a steady source of income, but for now, he is delighting in his life as a busker. Do you guys even know like what's going on here? I'm a little confused. Dude, man, I didn't even know anybody else was supposed to be here. I was just told to, to come here. Yeah, honestly, I just, I know there's money involved and that's why I'm here. Some guy sent me a message saying meet here and I heard there's money involved, so that's why I'm here. Makes sense. Dude, um, did he say when he was supposed to show up? I think he said around 7.45 and it's like 7.40 right now. Yeah. Message, yeah. So a few minutes, hopefully, I don't know. I'm sure you guys are all pretty confused, but 
If there's anything to say about me, I'm the man of theatrics. All right, man, come on. I don't have all night. I'm just gonna get out of here. This isn't just a joke, okay? Do you think I would've even brought you here if I wasn't serious about this? But hey, I'm not one to waste time. So if you guys are ready to get down to business, follow me over to my warehouse. Let's get right to the point. I brought you all here because you have one thing in common. Do you have any idea what that is? Oh, I'm not really sure. Um, I mean, we're all dudes. Yeah, uh, I mean, we're all young. I don't know. You are all here because you have ambition. My job is to channel that ambition. I'm going to bring one of you to the top. All right, man. I don't know what game you're playing, but this is way too sketchy for me. I think I'm out. Okay, you're done. <laughs> Look, I don't want any part of this, okay? All right. Looks like we have a winner.